breaking news. Supreme Court faces October 24th for hearing of Nigerian government appeal against Namdi Kano. Sarah reporters had earlier reported that President Muhammad Buhari led federal government had on Wednesday filed an appeal against the October 13th unanimous judgment of the Court of Appeal, freeing the IPOB's leader. Hello guys, you are welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all. The Supreme Court has faced Monday, October 24th, for hearing on a motion for a stay of execution of appeal court judgment, ordering the release of detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kano. Sarah reporters had earlier re reported that the President Muhammad Buhari led federal government had on Wednesday filed an appeal against the October 13 unanimous judgment of the Court of Appeal, freeing the IPOP's leader. The government, in a motion for stay of execution, is asking the court to stop execution of the judgment which discharged Namdekano of all the terrorism related charges and barred any lower court from entertaining further charges against him. In a seven grand notice of appeal, which was filed by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Abubakar Malami, San, the federal government not only faulted the lower court's decision, but equally prayed that it will be set aside. The government, in its grants of appeal, argued, among others, that the court of appeal held when it faulted the manner Nandikano was brought back to face trial after he jumped bail and fled the country. It contended further that the court of appeal held when it struck out the pending charge against Kano on the ground that the trial court no longer possessed the, re the re requisite jurisdiction to continue the trial because of the manner Kano was returned to the country upon allegedly jumping bail. Reacting to the federal government's new move, Ifani Ejefo, one of the councils of Namdi Kano and IPOP, described the appeal as incompetent, even as he noted that their team was not presumed, adding that the appellant had the right to lodge an appeal. Dismissing the appeal as incompetent, he said that the government decided not to obey a valid order of the court of appeal by releasing his client. Ejia Ford stated this in an interview with Daily Independent shortly after a routine meeting to the headquarters of the Department of State Services, DSS, in Abuja on Thursday. He said, our strategies towards a successful of sitting off the the efficacy of these processes processes as it affects union doors or conditional release were discussed on Thursday during our court ordered routine visit to Union Do Kano at the detention facility of the DSS. Our strategies were all acceptable to him particularly now that the motion for a stay of execution was fixed for hearing on Monday, 24th October 2022. Though the federal government's right of appeal is a constitutional right, it is our firm contention that the federal government must first and foremost obey the order of the court of appeal, directing for the immediate and unconditional release of Onyendo. The federal government has been in contempt of the positive orders of courts made since the 13th day of October 2022 by the Court of Appeal, which orders clearly discharged Onyendo and prohibited the federal government from further detaining him and or subjecting him to any further prosecution or trial. According to the legal practitioner, the law is settled 
that a party who is in disobedience of a court order cannot be entitled to or be granted the indulgence of the exercise of the equitable discretion of a court of law for stay execution of the same order the party is in its contempt. Onyondo's legal team, eminently led by our erudite chief Mike Zekome San, is ever ready to literally remove the carpet from under their feet in court come the 24th day of October 2022. There is no doubt whatsoever that this grossly incompetent application for stay of execution is to enable the lawless DSS to gain more time with the continued detention of Onyendo, but their evil plan is dead on arrival because we are equal to the tax, Namikano's lawyer said. The only valid option available to the federal government is to be the order made by a very superior court of record and immediately free Onyendo unconditionally, he added. Eja first stated that Kano is strongly convinced that his landmarks victory resonates the age-long treatment that the court is the last hope of the common man. He is firm in his conviction that his landmark victory has come to stay and his victory, his, his freedom is here. Umuchineke, we are strongly assured that the present development is nothing to worry about. The judgment of the Court of Appeal, Frin Onyendo, has held the federal government in a, a vice like grip. There is no chance whatsoever of exclusion, EJF4 maintained. In addition, he said, Kanu's freedom is here and the the sanity of the court's pronouncement must be respected by the federal government, and the time has come. Onyendo extended his profound gratitude to you all, Umochineke, while encouraging you all to remain fervent in your supplications and prayers, as this travail will soon be a thing of the past. There is already a light at the end of the tunnel, AJF4 said. Sarah reporters had reported that a three-man panel of appeal courts, justice led by Okoji had on Thursday, October 13th, while delivering the judgment in Karen's appeal on his extraordinary rendition, declared it as unlawful and in subsequent arrangement before a federal high court in Abuja for the continuation of his trial on pending terrorism charges. The court also quashed the terrorism charge preferred against him by the federal government, pending before the federal high court in Abuja. So guys, you've all heard it now. This is the latest. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.